Good morning, Lana Scott Lighthouse. This is a message for the fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sag. Um, this is a um, raising consciousness message for y'all. Um, so I am just going to, I've had, I've had spirit guides and angels talking to me all, all morning this morning, guys. And right now my right ear is going off. So they're telling me just to give you the message. So I'm going to dive right in. Overall, for the whole reading, guys, we have the Bone Collector, okay, and we have the General Gardener. And what they're saying is, is that they've got, you've been, a lot of people have been um, meeting on the astral level and talking to some new spirit guides and angels that have come in as we get closer to the, to the age of Aquarius to, um, to help guide y'all into becoming the elders the um, shamans, the mystics, the seers, the um, the leaders of the future in the spiritual um, community, okay? So they're saying that you have everything within you to become the, the elder, the shaman, the mystic, the seer, um, the world leader in the future on the, um, in the spiritual community, okay? The other second messages they're giving is that it is time for, as in going into the future, that it will be time for you to lead and not follow anymore. Okay. Um, they're talking about helping everybody or helping people on their path by leading you and guiding you through the spiritual realm of energy that you will pick up and bring back to this realm. Okay. And that seems to be the main focus of the energies this morning. Okay, guys. So take that how it resonates. All right. Because they are some, and a lot of y'all are listening. Um, and they've had me, like I said, um, in the, some of the other messages I've been doing here lately, they've got me doing some personal messages as well for people. So I'm going to get to those, but first I'm going to give you all the overall um, message that we have here. You're, um, what we start off with is we have that a lot of you, Aries, Leo, Sag, and other people, y'all are meeting up with your, on the astral level, with your spirit guides, angels, ancestors, and making, and also with the higher, your higher self is with other higher selves of other people. And I kind of got a little bit of this in the, um, in the air reading that new, new energetic, um, partnerships are being made. Okay. Because people are, are starting to listening, listen to the signs and synchronicities and the messages that they're getting. Okay. And they are going through these new portals of consciousness. Um, portal, um, the ether is so thin between the worlds right now, guys. They're, they're saying that a lot of us are, or a lot of you guys are going through portals on the astral realm in the ether, meeting up with other new spirit guides, new angels, new ancestors, and bringing back the information. Some of you are in a period of frozen because even though you've come through, you've got a little bit of more time while they are setting things up on in the universe is shuffling things around so that you can meet up with the people, places, things that is going to be a big change coming into the age of Aquarius. And I kind of got a little bit of that message also with the air signs, but y'all's is just a little, y'all's is a little bit different in the way that things are playing out. Okay. They're saying that a lot of you already know that you're on your journey and they get guys, they gave me path of destiny, but they gave it to me as the sands of time or as a, um, a timer where um, some of you are still picking up information from your spirit guides, your ancestors. Um, some of you are learning that you have the remote viewing capability. And when you're going in the astral level, uh, on, when you're asleep at night or whether they're in deep meditation, y'all are picking up messages or meeting new, making new partnerships or getting, um, you know, being um, told about um, Akashic records um, information on the other side that you don't have that new spirit guides and angels are bringing in for you to help you further going into your journey. Okay. And as a result of this, a lot of you are leaving behind people, places, things. 
okay? Or having to defend yourself to some people that don't understand what you're doing, okay, guys? And they're saying for you to become your whole self and to have the success that you want, you're going to have to let some of that stuff drop off, okay? So listen to what they're telling you, okay? Because you are going to be having a new pathway coming within the next um, three to six to seven months. Some of us going into the next the future because we do have... Um, um, Pisces I, or, or uh, Pluto, I think, went back, and I don't know if the dates are, guys, you'd have to look it up. I'm not an astrologer. Going back into Capricorn and then leaving Capricorn and starting towards the age of Aquarius over this next year. So, guys, take that how it resonates. I'm not sure what those dates are. They were just wanting me to point out that as we get closer to the age of Aquarius, things are going to start speeding up a lot more. That's another thing that this means, too, is speeding up, headed towards your journey, okay? Now, they're also saying that there are, you know, some of this is going to bring elemental disruption because there's going to be a lot of things going on in the planet that are shifting and changing in the way people do things day to day as different, different things shift up between our country, other countries, the political scene, the, the um, um, different things that have to do with finances and stuff. Okay, guys. So they're saying that, you know, a lot of things are going to be closing, but if you keep on your path and you keep paying attention to the signs and synchronicities, okay, the rewards for your efforts, you're going a lot of stress is going to be relieved because you're going to have a new foundation, okay, that you're going to be working from, all right? A lot of micro, going from the microchism to the macrochism, um, there will be some people working on their own as spiritual, um, uh, on their, as spiritual warriors, but some of you will be getting into finding your tribe, getting into larger groups over time and bringing your unique abilities and a lot of things opening up that will bring a lot of more joy and flow to everybody. Okay. And that, that guys is kind of smacks of what you don't see coming. Okay. Because with a lot of things getting ready to be happening on the planet, it's going to bring a lot of elemental disruption. Okay. But they say, if you stay focused and listen, okay, don't fret about it just keep going on your path and listening to what they're telling you, what information or whatever, you know, different places, people, things are showing up for you, that they are going to lead you in the right direction. I asked them for a side message, and they said what a lot of people don't realize is a lot of major birth is going to come from that over this next year, bringing a lot of more flow, a lot of new doorways, okay, that they will have, and they will seem like they open up by magic, they're saying, because as we go into the future and things get shuffled around where they need them to be, because they've been working hard behind the scenes for you, for all these people that are having becoming the spiritual leaders of the future, it's, it's going to be known to you. You're going to realize, because a lot of things are going to happen, boom, 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 they're saying, okay? So just have patience over this next um, three to seven, eight months for a lot of you that are already on your spiritual path. And you are you are knowing this on from working on the astral level or through astral travel and meeting up with other people spirit new spirit guides coming in new um some of you are, are finding out that on the astral level you are having some remote viewing into the future of where you're supposed to go because portals are opening up for you and you're bringing that information back okay you're also bringing back information um from your your new spirit guides and angels of how things are going to work in the future and it's it, this is going to give you all a lot of relief from distress internally even though you're not going to understand why when a lot of Shit hits the fan, okay? So they're saying in the next, you know, like I said, the next year, because Jera also represents here, guys, a lot of stuff's going to be happening, but it's going to be okay. So, you know, you, you know, some of this may even happen so fast that one day everything's fine. The next day, everyone gets up, looks at the newspaper and goes, oh my God, what, you know, so what you don't see coming, guys, but it's going to be okay. Do not let it dissuade you. Just take a deep breath, ground and relax yourself. The bone collector and the gentle gardener are keeping everything for us, okay? Take that how it resonates, guys. Okay, I'm going to move these up out of the way because I have personal messages here. So, um, let's see. Where did my little thing go? Uh, right here. All right, guys. These are messages that may or may not resonate for you. Take it how it does resonate, okay? I'm just going to pull them up as I go along, tell you what the messages are. And, guys, um, let's see. Okay, so the first um, message I have for somebody out there is an older person, male or female, sex doesn't matter. Okay, could be a Leo, could be um, um, a Cancer, could be um, 
any sun, moon, or rising sign, if this resonates with you, for you, it's yours at, at this time. You are wondering if your success is going to come in or if, if some of your hopes and dreams are going to come true. They're saying success is, success is so close. You, you, you can see it. You're not sure quite if it's going to get to you yet, but they're saying you're creating a block within yourself and you're going to have to, or what you need to do is just trust that they're going to bring it to you because success is right around the corner. Okay. And they're saying you're going to know it because a new door is going to open. And you're going to have some new foundation, some new people come in, maybe even some new friends that you meet or some information you find on the world wide web. Okay. So they're saying you are getting to where you need to be. And you may have the sign of a, um, um, you may be um, an Aries. You could be a Leo. They're just saying something, somehow, some way on the web, you're going to find what the, the success that you're looking for is on the web, I think is what they're trying to exactly say. But some of you are, trying, are blocking it out. They're saying, don't block it out. They're saying, stop and meditate. Try to figure out what's blocking you so that you can take your ride into the six into the into the future successfully. Okay. And they're saying it has also something to do with your foundation. So maybe you're believing something that isn't true. They're saying if you have any doubts, write it down on a piece of paper and burn it. That's for somebody. Okay. Then we have um the um the, uh, this queen of swords. So, um, male or female, the sex doesn't matter. It's just the energy. They're saying this person is already on their journey. Hang on guys. My ear is kind of going off. She already knows this person already knows they're on their journey. Okay. They may have too many irons in the fire. And for you to have the success that you want, you're going to have to let something go. Something that on um, you, 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 that is not quite working for you. If you let this go, new growth is going to come in. That's going to bring a lot of prosperity and happiness and joy, okay? It's going to start you on a new path, because, and you're just not seeing it right now. See how she's reaching for this? They're saying you have all the tools that you need, and they're with you. They're trying to help you, but there's something that you've got to let go of first to let this new energy come in, okay? So maybe it's a person to let, let you need to let go so that you can get the energy that, or to get the, to make the room for the person to come in, that's going to help you with the new journey. Some of you, um, you need to let something go. Um, I'm not sure what it is. Because if you're, they're saying if you're trying to become pregnant, you need to switch whatever it is you're doing. That's my ears going off again. Hang on, guys. I'm trying to figure out what they're telling me. Guys, they're saying some of you, you've been thinking that you can't get pregnant, okay? But you're about to. Or an idea that wasn't working is about to come to the forefront, setting you off on a new journey. Guys, take that how it resonates. Sometimes I'm, they, they try to tell me something and it doesn't come through till later. Okay, I'm going to move on. All right, so the next one is this Knight of Wands, okay? So this is somebody finding out uh, some kind of message coming in for them um, or some kind of letter that you've been waiting for. They're saying after, after Mercury retrograde is over completely, whatever letter or information you're waiting for is going to come in. Okay. With the moon, they're making me think that it's something that you've been waiting for that you don't realize is on your path, but it is on your path. They said, stop paying attention to it. Stop paying attention to it, waiting for it to come in, and it will come in. I, I don't know who that's for. That's for somebody, guys. And then we have this um, Queen of Wands, okay? And they're saying that you, whoever you are, um, you realize something. You're getting ready to jump timelines. You are connected very much to your spirit guides and, and your angels. You have some other people around you that are also trying to help you figure out what your path is. But they're saying you're going to figure it out really, really soon. And your ancestors have your back and you have the spirit of destiny and you, you, 
they say they're saying something about where is that at they're saying you need to give it a little more time but it's coming and you're going to jump a timeline okay so this is for an older woman or man that's just waiting for something to come in and when it does you're going to jump timelines and something you overhear or something somebody says to you and it is on your path of destiny and then you're going to be hauling ass for it they say they're saying some kind of a block guys take that how that resonates okay so that's the personal messages man guys my ears are just ringing 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 all right now I'm going up the rest of the message all right along your journey metamorphosis into the unknown coming to life making a choice goblins and encouragement all right guys so all right so because of this going through this portal okay a lot of you are going to metamorphose because you are listening to the to the information coming into you from your 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 new spirit guides and angels yeah that are that are talking to you um and they're pointing out that's a seven card some of you on the astral realm are picking up information that when you come back going into the near future you're going to realize some things you didn't realize before you just have to wait for them to put it into place that's this coming through the portal and waiting to go through and they're saying it's really soon there it's really really soon okay so um there is some kind of um uh, they're talking about to me the, about the haggles there is some kind of elemental disruption right after this metamorphosis which throws you into the unknown okay but it makes you with this new spirit guide or angel coming in to help you it's going to spark you and you're going to go a direct you're going to transform and something's going to come in for you that you'll have to make a choice about okay and you're letting some kind of fear hold you back but they want to encourage you to keep on going so guys for some of you there's something between on the on the on the astral level that you're uh, they're trying to bring you some kind of information to help you get past this kind of a block so, and And you don't understand because you don't you because you don't see what's coming disruption rewards for efforts closing relief from distress i feel like they're saying that you got this metamorphosis coming in but then because of something that goes on and happens after that it throws you into the unknown and you have to close something off to see what it is they're trying to tell you that has to do with where you're operating from on a foundation level to go from the microchism to the macrochism they're pointing out the runes to me guys are pointing out the runes to me on the what you don't see coming to the making the choice to something else to do with your spiritual journey that when you then when they then talk to you and you see it you go oh and you do a complete turn around and make a different choice because you realize there's been something holding you back guys this could be a person there it could be a person that you've been hanging around that you need to let go of and get away from okay because they're trying to bring you another doorway okay and when you see it you say oh i see why this isn't working okay and you see it after you go through this metamorphosis and so they're wanting to encourage you that there is a couple, a couple of hiccups along the way and you do have to make a different choice and it's not nothing drastic i feel like they're saying but it's because you realize there's something or someone holding you back because you get this metamorphosis okay you get this change on the astral level after doing some after some of your new spirit guides and stuff come in and bring you this information you don't quite see it it takes a little while for you to see it and then when you do it's like oh shit i see what oops sorry guys i see what it is okay and you make this choice and you realize i'm kicking this to the curb that's where this closing off and this relief from distress is okay so they're wanting this is a nine card guys they're wanting to encourage you to keep on going some of you are going to have this hiccup okay but you're working at it you're working on it 
with this a, a specific sp spirit guide or something, the bone collector energy, and they are they're they're getting you through this portal, and it's a little bit slower going because it's it's got to do with somebody on the physical level that's trying to hold you back or someone that you're meant to get away from or something like that, guys. Um, they just want to encourage you to keep on going. All right, guys, take that how it resonates. They're saying you are going to see it. You are going to see it. Okay. All right. So, guys, then they're saying what's going to happen is next is then you're going to answer uh, answer the call in whatever shape or form that is. Okay. So, some of you may not have been seeing quite clear what your journey was supposed to be. But after this person and this, this coming to life, okay, you're going to see it. And that's what's going to come for, come in for you in the next three to six months. They're saying for a lot of you, you're going to see, they're saying this is the pathway and you're going to find it. Okay. Some of you that are acting in the capacity of wounded healers right now, you're going to heal some type of wound on the astral level that they're going to help you with. That is actually from something from your past. Okay. This goblin energy, this, for some of you, this is something that you've gone through in the past that when you, um, make this choice, this goblin energy comes in, okay, or you realize what this is, that then when you jump forward, after they realizing they're encouraging you, you answer a different call of some type, some sort, and you heal some type of wound, okay, guys, that's where this birth, yeah, that makes a lot of sense, okay, that's where this extra message comes in for you guys, they're saying this is where you get this new birth, you go through a new doorway, now things are flowing because now you know what the secret is of whatever that that um whatever that goblin energy is, guys. Okay, that's something in your your psyche. You're saying something in your subconscious. Okay, take that how it resonates, guys. Some of you, they're saying, are gonna um do some deep meditation to heal this, or maybe even listen to some stuff online. Um, what are those things called? Sublimial healings, guys. I actually probably need to do one of those myself. They're saying you're going to do some kind of healing um, so that you can go forward because you want to answer this call. And it's something that you've never realized you had before. And you're going to heal it so that you can go forward. All right, guys. Take that how it resonates. Okay. Then the next thing we have. Let's see. I'll make sure I got them right here. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Okay, guys. So they're saying when you do that, it's going to open up a whole bunch of stuff for you. Okay. And they're going to be there guiding you on your journey going into the future. Some of you, you have to go really within, okay, in this, with this sweat lodge energy so that you can find out what this wound is. Okay. So that you can heal that because they have a special journey for you. Okay. They have a special thing that they want you to do. Okay, then next we've got the tracker card. Guys, they're wanting you to, to discover something about yourself, okay, with this um, healing, this wound of whatever it is. That's why they're encouraging you to keep going on whatever it is that you're um, in whatever way because they want you to figure out what it is and heal yourself because it's something to do with your personal journey. It has something to do with your psychic abilities. So it definitely is in your psyche and in your, in your, in your heal, in your in your in your um, in your past because we've got the spirit of water and then we have the spirit of fire so they're wanting to bring in more psychic energy and more intuitive stuff to help you okay and they're also wanting you to transform okay and they want to send you on some type of a vision quest after that because um guys a lot of um what i've been getting a lot of too is a lot of you are going to become more closer like shamans and spiritual leaders in the future and they're wanting the some of you are just having some last little bitty things that you're not seeing that are within your, your, your psyche that are within your, um, something from childhood or something from past life, even that they're wanting you to. Yeah. Okay. Okay. They're saying some of you are going to have to go and maybe even look up your lineage to see, um, where some of your people in your ancestor line, some of them, Ooh, guys, my brain is just feels like it's exploding. Um, 
Some of you are going to have to go into your lineage background, look up your family tree, and you're going to see some things that some people in the past went through that somewhere along the line, you also went through something similar that you need to heal. So they can bring in these extra psychic abilities or psychic mediumship abilities and transform you so that they can, um, so that you can, that your vision will be clear so that you'll see exactly where they're wanting you to go. So guys, this is a holy transformational type of thing. Okay. Take it how it resonates. It's going to be different for all of you, but they're saying with the bone collector and the gentle gardener here, they're just wanting you to know that over this next year, things are going to become so much more clear. Okay. Cause you are doing a lot of things, a lot of stuff on the astral level and going through portals and jumping timelines. And within this next year, guys, so much more is going to open up that your vision is going to be really clear because there's still a little bit of work some of you have to do. Some of you have are you're saying you're already at this um, new abilities coming in and, and new transformation, and you're already on this new vision quest. They're saying also there's going to be a lot of more shaman type people, mystic seers. Um, hang on, guys. I've got a really deep. Okay. So guys are just saying that this, um, some of you are going to find a new vision quest or a new vision, or you're already to that vision quest thing. Okay. Because they do have some more energies coming in to help you. So guys take that, how it resonates. Okay. They're telling me that's it. Um, okay. All right, guys, so um, that's the message today for the Fire Signs, Aries, Leo, Sag. It's not going to resonate for everybody. Guys, my ears, I had something really great happen this morning, but I'm not going to go into it here. I'll maybe do a little separate video up because they're saying I'm not the only one. So um, they are telling me that there's a special meditation thing I've got to come up with. Um, actually, the one I did this morning that I did on Spur of the Moment that I felt like they were telling me to do. And guys, I heard everything. I've got nine spiritual counselors and ascended masters that helped me um, with my stuff here lately. They're saying also, um, some of you, um, some of you, they're saying they want you to realize that this is also an ascended master coming in for you. For those of you that just need some tweaking on your journey, extra message guys, that that's what they're doing. That's what they're, that's what they're trying to tell you. Okay. With this vision quest. Whew. Okay. Okay. So guys, some of you, some of you, this is an ascended masters, um, and they're telling me not to forget that. Guys, some of you, this is an ascended master coming to help tweak your shaman abilities that are getting ready to come to the forefront in a new vision quest within the next year. Guys, take it how it resonates. Okay. All right. Lana Scott Lighthouse. Guys, I'm in a channeling fool this morning. <laughs> From my spirit guides to, um, to you and your spirit guides, everybody have a wonderful uh, weekend. Light, love and light. Guys, be a hero. Be somebody else's hero. Remember to have faith. Lana Scott.